So in a previous video, I discussed how you can set up a Pleroma instance, uh, which is essentially just a federated social media site. Now, if you haven't watched that video already, I suggest you check it out. It's just on my channel. It's the last one I uploaded. But in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can customize it and pimp it out a little bit so you can, you know, set some of the backgrounds, some of the configurations, and most importantly, how you can actually federate the site itself so it can communicate with other instances and people could follow you from other instances and talk to you and stuff like that. So first things first, what you're going to want to do originally is you're going to want to set up an admin account for yourself. So I'm going to presume that, you know, you create an account, you sign in, you registered with your instance. Um, now, when you create the first admin account, what you're going to need to do is do it in the actual database itself, the Postgres SQL. But what you can do after that is if, say, you have other users or whatever, you can go into the admin panel, which is here. I'm not going to click on it because I don't want to show the other users. But essentially, inside this users tab, you can click on individual users and you can say make admin or give admin parentials. Essentially, that'll just give people the option to block or restrict users if they're, I don't know, doing stuff that's against their terms of service. So the next thing I'm going to show you is basically the simplest way you can actually customize your instance. So you'll see up here in settings, uh, what we have is under themes, uh, you have a load of ways that you can actually customize and set some of the colors and the schemes and stuff like that. So for example, at the moment, I have it on Pleroma Dark, which is just the theme that I think uh, looks the best. But say if you want to customize it, say you want to like give a different color or whatever for the foregrounds and all this stuff, what you can do is you can save the preset. And when you save this, what you can do is you can actually upload this under the static file in the configuration. So I'm just going to show you that now. So if we go into var, I believe it is, uh, lib, pleroma, when you initially have this set up, you're going to see these two files. Now, if I go into static right now, um, normally there's just the robot.txt, which just tells the browsers and whatever to, you know, accept your site. So this is for like, if you want to get your site seen on Google or, well, not Google, obviously, but DuckDuckGo or some other better search engine. But the first thing you're going to want to do is create this static file. Now, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again, but just do make directory static, and you'll probably need uh, pseudo permissions to do that. But inside this, this is where you're going to set a lot of your different um, themes or, you know, uh, in right here, I have my terms of service. And that's the next thing I'm going to show you, actually. So I'll just go close out of this. Uh, when you go into the about, uh, the first thing you have here in the about section is basically just, you know, uh, your terms of service. So I have a few basic rules that you should do at the minimum, <laughs> like, you know, no doxing or posting illegal content. But say if I wanted to change this terms of service, so I'm just going to go into my cloud again. Okay, do I have this commander? Yeah. So I'm going to go into the static and what I'm going to do is touch, say, terms uh, i don't actually know what the file is called oh i'm in the wrong one anyway you're going to want to make sure that the file is exactly this name uh, any variations and the instance probably won't pick it up but say you just touch you know terms of service or whatever um, and after you do that it's basically just oh shit after you do that, it's basic HTML. So you put in, you know, paragraphs is what I had here, and I've made them bold, as you can see here. And, um, you know, I'm sure if you're setting up a plural instance that you probably know HTML. If not, then learn it. Like, this is 2021. Come on. But, yeah, so you can just add your terms of service like that, which is something you're going to want to do if you have multiple people on your site. Another thing I'm going to point out is, so in the Pleroma documentation, they have loads of things on basically any sort of features that I might not have even mentioned. So if you want to do federation through Tor, for example, or, you know, we want to set up custom emojis or other stuff like that. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of different, uh, you know, just tutorials and guides and stuff on there that you can look through. But basically, after you've created your theme and you've downloaded it, 
uh, what you do is you add it to that static file that I showed you there. So the file name needs to be styles.json and it'll download a JSON file. So you can just add that to that and that's how you would add a custom theme if you wanted to. The next thing I'm going to show you is actually editing the config file. So if you go into etc, Pleroma, so you can have actually multiple config files, but the one that it goes to first is normally config.ex. Now, I'm actually not going to go into this file because it has a lot of confidential stuff in it. So I create a new file called new. And yeah, so if, you know, your config file looks different to mine, then that's why. But essentially, here's where you're going to put all your configurations for your instance. So I'm going to show you a good example. Um, what had happened was um, certain users from other instances uh, basically, you know, followed me or started posting on other instances. And because it's federated, they all showed up on mine. Now, depending on the users, you know, no one really cares. Like, I don't really have any regulations against what people can say and do but it was just kind of a bit too spicy and i didn't want people who were just casually viewing the site after the in after watching the previous video to just see this kind of stuff so what i wanted to do was i wanted to set it so that unless you're a registered user then you couldn't see all of the i'll show you now on the known network, there's like a lot of different stuff from various users. Some of it, you know, probably just would scare normal people off as soon as they came onto the site. So, yeah. So, yeah, what I did was I added this line under restrict unauthenticated. Um, so, in this timelines keyword, I've set the local to false and the federate to true. Now, this might be a bit too counterintuitive, but basically, um, if you set it to true, that means that it's not allowed. So what this essentially means is that if you're an unauthenticated user, if you don't have an account on the instance, then you can only see the local posts. So posts that users have made. So this kind of stuff, you know. So yeah, that's just an example of something that I added in the config file. Now there's other stuff. So for example, I set my theme to the classic dark, but yeah, there's, this is basically where you're going to be setting all of the stuff that you want to configure in the thing. So after you've done that, you're going to want to restart the Pleroma service. So system CTL restart Pleroma. And I'm not going to do it now, but then you're also probably going to want to start Nginx. Actually, you could probably get away without starting Nginx, but, you know, it's good enough to start it anyway. But yeah, there's something in this documentation called Configuration Cheat Sheet, which basically explains all the stuff that you can put into the config. Um, so you can change all the instance features. Um, and it's also where we're going to be uh, putting the stuff to activate the federation, which is here. Another thing that you might want to do, so I mentioned before how, yeah, I said previously that I liked the Tokyo theme that they had in the background. If you want to, then again, you just add a file, like a picture, to the static directory the same way that you did with the other configurations. Yeah, so there might be a bit of a learning curve just in terms of it's very different to any sort of social media site that you may have used in the past in terms of federation. Like, you just see posts coming up from random instances and you're thinking like where the fuck did these come from you know but that is the but that is the point of federation you know uh that you can communicate and talk with other instances if you want and yeah it's basically just that's the entire point of it you know that other people can communicate with you you can block them if you want and i'll show you how to do that as well actually so so in the config, there's a section called MRF policies, uh, MRF simple, for example. And what you can do with this is essentially just block all of the other instances. So it's the exact same way as all the other features. There's just a syntax that you put in like this. And I'm just showing you this, for example, um, I don't think if you're setting up a plural instance that you're going to want to prioritize, you know, blocking other instances, like it kind of defeats the entire point, it's supposed to be, you know, free speech or whatever.
But yeah, so you have certain keywords like reject. And what this is, is a list. And if you have various uh, instance names, for example, I know one is called uh, shit poster club. Um, no, I'm just, this is just the first one that comes to mind, but if you want to, you can add instances to this list like this. Um, but not just that, like say if there's an instance where, you know, they have a lot of, I don't know, unsavory material or something and you, you might want to be able to allow, um, them to communicate with other users on the instance, but you want to block all of their media. So what you could do is add that and essentially, yeah, you can just add uh, their name to this list and essentially what that means is that any NSFW posts won't be posted onto your instance so say if you wanted to run a clean website and yeah just remember between all of these uh, keywords just to put a comma but yeah I figured that's basically it I just wanted to do this because you know I didn't really go into details on configuring the instance before but yeah, there's a lot of different stuff. So obviously uh, setting up your profile and stuff like that is pretty much the same as anywhere else. You just edit your profile. Um, but yeah, basically that's essentially it. Um, I had one or two people join before. Uh, and if you're watching this, then I suggest you join again because I'll probably keep this instance up for the meantime. Uh, another thing I probably should mention is apparently there's been a lot of spam and stuff on other major instances after that after that Guardian article that came out from Luke Smith. So I don't know if there is a lot of spam posting and stuff like that. I might have to take the instance down. But yeah, besides that, that's basically it. Um, but yeah, I'll thank you and I'll see you next time.